North River Friends of Clearwater is the northernmost sloop club. Based in the Capital District near the confluence of the Mohawk and Hudson Rivers, we serve an area that extends from the Hudson Valley through the Adirondacks and up to the Canadian border. Our motto has always been, the river doesn't end at Albany. In fact, the distance from New York City to Albany of 150 miles is only half the Hudson River's length. Our activities include many of the routine duties taken on by other sloop clubs. Here are photos taken at Lynch's Marina, the former winter home of Clearwater on the Esopus Creek, when North River Friends of Clearwater was asked to help replace a broken bowsprit. Our activities include holding meetings, publishing a newsletter, raising funds, tabling at events on behalf of our club and Clearwater, and supporting environmental issues. Here are North River Friends of Clearwater members participating in the April 24, 2021 Clean Sweep at the Vischer Ferry Preserve on the Mohawk River. Our fundraising is generally directed toward the sponsorship of educational sales aboard Clearwater for local youth groups that could not otherwise afford them on their own. Here is a North River Friends of Clearwater sponsored educational sale with the Suhari Central School from August of 1983 that departed from Hapanoz Marina at Catskill Creek. Our efforts also include the holding of a biannual garage sale in downtown Albany. These events not only raise money, but also provide our local community with very inexpensive and useful items donated by our supporters that might otherwise be priced out of reach or wasted. We have also held eight annual concerts at WAMC's Linda Norris Auditorium and at member homes along the Hudson River. Here are the jazz band The Duo, Wanda Fisher on guitar, No Dynastine on sitar, and the Sonder Strings. And here we have sound man Bill Morris, man at Joe Green giving an environmental action update, and the punk merchant band all performing at our fundraiser at Van Wees Point in Glenmont. Here's a photograph of Stephen Smith with Thomasina Winslow and the grand finale with all performers playing with Pete on video at the Linda. On stage for the finale are members of Three Quarter North, Me and the Hedonists, and the Bounce Back Band. Well, the global pandemic has pushed the pause button on the holding of events, we expect to resume these activities as soon as practicable. We recently applied for and received an Albany County Legislature grant that will be used to support two sales for a local not-for-profit environmental education group. Here we see Betsy Garthwaite demonstrating knot tying, the ending of the traditional moment of silence with a song, and going on the peak. Many of our members are true water rats, sailors, canoers, kayakers, and campers. Consequently, many of our activities are directed to the north in the Adirondacks and its many waterways. Interest in clean water is very practical. When we jump out of our boats, we don't want to get sick or die. In 1986, Albany celebrated its tricentennial anniversary. Some of us participated in a canoe trip from Montreal to Albany dressed as French fur trade voyagers. Maurice Rivard of the Federation of Franco-Americans of New York made all the land arrangements for camping and meals once the stops and water routes were determined. 
indigenous people of the Mohawk tribe from Canada and Boy Scouts from Del Mar, New York, were part of the 75 plus people who paddled this historic route. us formed a reenactment brigade and appeared in events at Syracuse, New York, Schenectady, New York, Kingston, New York, Kente Portage, Ontario, and Ottawa, Canada. This historic map from 1638 was provided at Kente Portage, the oldest continuously used road in North America. Note that north is downward and to the left on this map. Are some of the reenactors from those events? 1990, the Mohawks who paddled with us in 1986 asked us to help support two native communities from James Bay, otherwise known as Hudson Bay, in Quebec, who were taking their protest against Hydro Quebec to New York City. Here's a photo of twin hulls taken in Ticonderoga by Nancy Papish. And here is a model of an ojack presented to Nancy Papish for getting the sloop clubs to guide, feed, lodge Inuit, Cree, and Mohawk people during that journey. An ojack is a canoe-kayak hybrid designed and built by Billy Wee Tatok in 1990. It is from the Cree word od for canoe and the Inuit word kayak. This would have flooded Cree and Inuit traditional lands along the Great Whale River in northern Quebec. These photos are from the 1990 event taken at Ticonderoga. Every group club stepped forward to provide river guides, food, and lodging. Gillis and Dale Rice borrowed the Federation of Franco-Americans of New York's boat Etoile du Nord, the North Star, and served for two days as river guides on Lake Champlain from Crown Point to Ticonderoga and on to Whitehall, New York. Photo by Nancy Papers, 1990 at St. James Bay. A of activists eventually got New York State to cancel the contract with Hydro-Quebec. The book, Voices from the Odiac, tells the entire story, from start to success in obtaining the cancellation of the Hydro-Quebec contract with New York State. A few brigade members helped provide an historical backdrop for the launching of the Half Moon at the Port of Albany on July 10th in 1989. was also one of several reenactment groups that participated in the launching and celebration of the 1790s replica Bateau Discovery. This in 1991 at the confluence of the Binnekill and Mohawk River in Schenectady's Stockade District. In 1992, Nancy Papish invited historical reenactors from Canada, Virginia, and New York State, including our own Beverwick Brigade. Grim Reaper have thinned our ranks and slowed our pace, but we are still boating and camping on the waterways of the Upper Hudson, St. Lawrence, and in the Adirondacks. At this, we share meals, indoor activities, and stories. And trips still happen more spontaneously. Here is a view of the Marion River from an airplane ride taken by the group. The Marion connects Racket Lake with Utuana, Eagle, and Blue Mountain Lakes. We usually camp in July and August, rent a lodge in November, and rent lodges again in January for our annual meeting. Like North River Country, our club and our meetings are open to all. Come join us.